differentials. Remember that implicit differentiation is really finding the derivative of each term in an equation with respect to a specific variable. Differentials are similar in that we've been finding pieces of them when calculating the derivative of a function. We just didn't know about them yet. To fully understand differentials, let's start with its connection to what we recently learned about linear approximation. Continuing our discussion on differentials. In linear approximation, the quantity x minus c is the change or the difference in x. It is denoted by this right here is read as delta x. Delta is a Greek letter and it is associated with the English letter D for the word difference. We're going to use this delta x to replace the quantity x minus c because x minus c is the change or the difference in the x values. So in our equation, y minus f of c is equal to f prime of c times the quantity x minus c becomes y minus f of c times f prime of c delta x. So this delta x is replacing x minus c over here. Continuing on, the quantity y minus f of c is to change in the y values, and that's going to be denoted by delta y. So since y minus f of c is delta y, we can write this equation like this. Delta y is equal to f prime of c times delta x. Using our new version, let's now say that the change is so small, it's practically zero. When we make this approximation, the quantity delta x becomes very close to dx, called the differential of x, and the quantity delta y becomes very close to dy, called the differential of y, giving you the equation below. dy is equal to f prime of c times dx. How are the terms dy, dx, and f prime related to one another? So far, we have been discussing the derivative of a function, which can be written as f prime or as dy dx. When we are only interested in dy, the differential of y, we simply use some basic algebra once we have dy dx. So dy dx is equal to f prime of x. Multiplying both sides by dx gives us dy is equal to f prime of x times dx. Example one of differentials. We want to find the differential dy of y is equal to x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 1. Knowing that y is equal to this function right here, dy dx is equal to 4 times x cubed plus 6x. Now, to find the differential dy, we're going to multiply both sides by dx, which will give us dy is equal to the quantity 4x cubed plus 6x times dx. So we have found the differential dy. Example 2. Given that y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 7, we want to find dy when x is equal to 2 and dx is equal to 0 0.1. We find a derivative of y, which gives us dy is equal to 4x minus 4. And then to find a differential, we're going to multiply both sides by dx, which gives us dy is equal to the quantity 4x minus 4 times dx. Now, here we're going to substitute. When x is equal to 2, dx is equal to 0 0.1. So we substitute 2 here and the value for dx here, which is going to give us dy is equal to 4 times 1 tenth, or dy has a value of 4 tenths.